uh, make sure that folks are trained for the jobs that are coming in now because some of those jobs of the past are just not going to come back. And when somebody says, like the person you just mentioned, who I'm not going to advertise for, that he's going to bring all these jobs back. Well, how exactly are you going to do that? What are you going to do? There's, the, there's no answer to it. He just says, well, I'm going, to, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how, what, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? Are not going to leave the United States anymore without consequences. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Masa of SoftBank from Japan, and he's just agreed to invest $50 billion in the United States and 50,000 jobs. And he's one of the great men of industry, so I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we just had some very good news because of what's happening and the spirit and the hope. I was just called by the head people at Sprint, and they're going to be bringing 5,000 jobs back to the United States. They're taking them from other countries. They're bringing them back to the United States. What, what, what magic wand do you have? Pfizer and Corning. These three companies are announcing that pharmaceutical blast packaging will now be made in America. Very pleased to announce that the great company, ExxonMobil, is going to be investing $20 billion in the Gulf Coast and the Gulf Coast region. It'll be 45,000 jobs, and they're great jobs, $100,000 average. What, what, what magic wand do you have? What, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? During eight years of the last administration, America lost 10,000 factories and nearly 200,000 manufacturing jobs. Think of that. In contrast, my administration added over a half a million manufacturing jobs. It was up to actually 701,000 jobs before the plague came in. And if you remember, President Obama, you need a magic wand. No, you don't. We need manufacturing jobs. He said you won't have any more manufacturing jobs. You need a magic wand. He was wrong about that also. To announce that Foxconn, a world leader, in manufacturing for computers, communications, and consumer electronics, one of the truly great companies of the world will build a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility for the production of LCD panel products in Wisconsin. No, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how, what, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? We're thrilled to welcome Broadcom Limited and its CEO, Hock Tan, to the White House to announce that Broadcom Limited is moving its headquarters from Singapore back the United States. The Recovery Act and our actions to fix the financial system were decisive in starting to turn the economy around. Growing uh, at a good clip. I'm calling this the recovery, the summer of recovery. The summer of recovery, or I might even call it the summer of projects. Our economy is stronger. That economic heartbeat is growing stronger. All of them have projects that are shovel ready. Shovel ready projects. Shovel ready projects. We are seeing shovels hit the ground. Shovel ready was not as uh, <laughs> shovel ready as we expected. <laughs> The next two years, our job now is putting our economy into overdrive. This is Obama's economy, that's fine. Give it to me. Those don't just all crumble. I'm the third generation of the steel mill for a year and a half. And now it's still moving in there. This is just the way of the world. China is an economic driver to the United States. It does export, it does manufacture, yes, it takes a million jobs. The point is because we're, we're on the verge of an inflation crisis. That, that Joe Biden has proposed $7 trillion in new spending. We're seeing inflation. We're seeing, we're seeing lumber going up, homes going up, oil going up, gasoline going up, energy going up, commodities going up. He firmly believes. China before the year 3035 is going to own America. TikTok, which we suspect was, was, was using that app to spy on Americans, uh, was that given because they have, he's compromised there? Senator, I'm, I'm getting beyond concerned here. We want to see China rise. All right, Hunter, is he compromised? Is that why he gave the waiver to Putin? China is going to eat our lunch. Come on, man. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, but China before the year 3035 is going to own America. 
I believe then, and I'm even more convinced now, that the rising China is an incredibly positive goal. China has made remarkable, remarkable strides. ABC News investigation this morning into Joe Biden's Hunter. Questions about money he made from foreign business dealings while his father was vice president. And did Joe Biden allow it? We're talking about millions of dollars in at least two countries. Did you talk about China no. or your deal with China? No. A 12 hour flight over. No, no, no. That never came. No. Less than two weeks after that trip, the HR partners was launched. A private equity firm funded in part by Chinese banks. But China, before the year 3035, is going to own America. Just come forward and said it was a sneaker, just My son's business dealings were not anything with everybody that he's talking about. What's your understanding of what your son is doing for an extraordinary amount of money? Well, I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. Hunter Biden holds equity stake in a company that's taking over a million and a half dollars from the Chinese company. This is obviously an issue. What they said is China would prefer Joe Biden. China and Iran. China and Iran. China and Iran want to see Donald Trump's defeat, and they're looking for ways to make that happen. China is a great nation, and we should hope for the continued expansion. Growth well, of China is overwhelmingly in our interest, and there's much more to come. China, before the year 3035, is going to own America. And now it's still more clear. My problem is I voted for NAFTA. I'm supporting NAFTA because I think it's a positive thing to do. And I do not pretend to be an expert on uh, international trade matters. When you ran for president, and when Barack Obama ran for president, you both said you would renegotiate NAFTA. You didn't. Trade agreements like NAFTA and permanent normal trade relations with China, which forced American workers to compete against people making pennies an hour, has resulted in the loss of 160,000 jobs. The president is absolutely right. The president is absolutely right when he says that China has been cheating for 25 years and that Bill Clinton didn't, didn't do enough about it, George W. Bush didn't do enough about it, Barack Obama didn't do enough about it. What, how exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? President Obama, you need a magic wand. No, you don't. We need manufacturing jobs. He said you won't have any more manufacturing jobs. You need a magic wand. He was wrong about that also. The rise in China is an incredibly positive development for not only China, but the United States and the rest of the world. The rise in China is a positive, positive development. It is in our self-interest that China continue to prosper. We want to see China rise. China is a great nation, and we should hope for the continued expansion. China is not our enemy. We talk about China as our competitor. We should be helping. We should be helping. We should be helping. We should be helping. It's a rise in China. The idea that China is going to eat our lunch is bizarre. China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. They're not bad folks, folks. China's not a problem. Allowing China into the World Trade Organization, which you supported, extending most favored nation status to China, which you supported, that those steps allowed China to take advantage of the United States by using our own open trade deals against us. No, Do well, you think in retrospect that you were naive about China? No. We're in, a, we're in a battle between democracies and autocracies. The more complicated the world becomes, the more difficult it is for democracies to come together and reach consensus. I've spent more time with President Xi of China than any world leader has for 24 hours of private meetings with him just an interpreter, 17,000 miles traveling in China and here. He firmly believes that China, before the year 3035, is going to own America because autocracies can make quick decisions. But America is unique. A world that has significantly more presence of both Al-Qaeda and organizational structures, including ISIS. Today, we're finally ending the NAFTA nightmare and signing into law the brand new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Very special. Listen, it's hard to overstate the importance of the USMCA. Uh, this is the single biggest bipartisan legislative victory for this president and this administration. It is a huge deal. Wage growth is better than it has been since 2009. That means it is better than it has been for seven out of eight of the years that Obama was president. The new USMCA has powerful protections to keep auto manufacturing jobs. Since the election, we've created 41,000 brand new motor vehicle and parts jobs. But doesn't he deserve some credit for that? It's better. The USMCA is better than NAFTA. It is better than NAFTA. I didn't expect that China would be in 2027. Yanashu 中国超过美国时间提前了。President Obama, you need a magic wand. No, you don't. We need manufacturing jobs. He said you won't have any more manufacturing jobs. You need a magic wand. He was wrong about that also.
Come on.